Hi, this is me, Jackie. Sometimes I've gotten ideas and I wrote them down in journals. Um, ideas for maybe bettering the world or inventions or different things. And I just thought I'll share some of my ideas with everybody. Okay. <clears throat> Idea. Video chat room and video personals, per, kind of personals, but set up better than some where it randomly forces you to awkwardly talk to just everyone and or pass on talking, in or pass on talking to who looks not interesting. Better if for personals to have where it can screen for who want to set up and request video chat time with and then can if other is available agrees or some or some, same time you know like profiles you could look through and kind of see who you really want to talk to instead of just talking to random people just where you're just forced to randomly talk to people like some video chat has been set up like which is okay too but um, it'd be nice to be able to pick out who you want to talk to and really kind of screen them make sure and it'd be like for, um, on a, and have the video chat on the personal sites. That would be cool. Okay, um, and then on the side of someone of their personal ad for reference of inspiration of what to ask, comment on, or talk about to break ice. Okay, um, idea, half the year off work, but at intervals throughout year, every so-and-so amount of time, this amount of time off, so it's long enough for lots of good holidays through the year, if people want, or family and friends, if people want to have family and friends time. Because a lot of divorces are probably caused by just not having enough time for each other. People um, are working too much. I know there's part-time work, but a lot of times it doesn't even pay very much. But it'd be nice if there were o maybe only part-time work um, by law. And, um, of course, there could still be varying um, amounts that the jobs can make. The jobs can still make higher or lower, but... Um, There could still be variances of that, but um, I just thought it'd be cool to have half of the year off. And it could be like three months here and then th three months working. Three months off and then three months working or whatever. Or a month working, a month not working. Or half the year working, half the year not working. Or it could just be every other day. I mean, maybe there could be varying schedules that people can choose from whatever they would want, depending on if they want to have time for long holidays or visiting faraway relatives or friends far away or whatever, or if they just want, you know, it helped the holiday vacation economy too. You know, a lot of motels go out of business and stuff because um, it's not organized that well right now. But idea more drain holes put in areas that flood, if that would help. Although there kind of already is, in a way, on sidewalks, those drainage holes, but just put more of those in the areas that flood, like larger ones or something. Well, maybe not larger ones, but just more of them. Um, just like toilets sometimes, or sinks, you know how they clog up? Too bad they're not made larger, if that would help. Although you don't want anything big to fall in, like people or anything, <laughs> so I guess they have to be. But maybe just part of it is small, the, the, the outer part, you know, so nothing big can fall in. But then the inside larger, just so things don't get clogged up. So, um, and put in areas that flood, if that help, if minor enough of flooding at least, but regular enough to warrant need and or that drain and less major kind could be helped by two, two canals made to divert else where away from 
something and um, and or nearby water lakes or areas, rivers, oceans. Ideas. I think for public's moral safety, if brothels are illegal, so should so should escorts, if prostitute kind, and so should be prostitution, the street corner kind, and the adult movies be illegal, since all promote sin of looking at someone with less than people, if want sexy videos with their spouses married to, that would be different, then they could just make videos, married people can't sexy videos, but which is who should think is sexy so won't be adulterously thinking others are sexy, cheating-esque mindset won't be bad, then they can make private videos that married people only should want to dress sexy lingerie video videos for their something or whatever. Okay, um, a few words I can't really read because I'm got so excited writing my ideas, I wrote them kind of fast, <laughs> so, but um, most of them I could kind of explain here. And regular movies shouldn't be showing less stuff except if people doing love scenes are not married. Maybe only married can do love parts together, and only if not the kind that can inspire anyone to lust at anyone. Them. So not to inspire cheating or less confusing feelings either with each other when playing parts. Because you know like how, I just thought maybe movies might confuse, you know how some people, wouldn't it be hard to see your spouse play a love, a love part in a movie with some, some being in love with somebody else? That would be hard to see, right? And so I thought, hmm, maybe they shouldn't have that because it might even inspire cheating. It might inspire the married people to fall in love with new people or to, to get used to being in that mindset, like it's okay to, because I played the part and it got me used to being in that, it's okay to like other people, you know? It, it, am I confused? It might cause confusion in marriage? Playing love interests with other people than your spouse? So maybe they shouldn't have it that way. They should have it where only married people play love interests in movies. Only if they're married, they should play love interest to each other in movies. Or if they're single, that way they won't inspire them potentially getting used to maybe cheating on their spouse, you know? And it, it, and only, and if they're single, only parts that, that aren't too corrupted because they shouldn't be encouraged to be into prostitution either. Because that prostitution usually jinxes jinxes people to break up. Even movies show this, <laughs> this truth. It's like sin jinxes it so people break up. A lot of times it makes people hate each other because they think that they're just playing games and they're not really in love with them, they're just using them and all that. You know, it causes like this sort of mental illness thing and, and this angst and everything. So it's just, it'd be nice if like movies didn't portray the negative side of, but I mean, oh well that is real life, so I don't know, but it's too bad real life's like that, but Okay, ideas. And on immigrants, if that's what that says. And on immigrants, if too many criminal prisons, okay, maybe if too many, okay, maybe overcrowding and over something casting. If too many criminals fill, filming for prisons, if some can be. Okay, I was just saying, like, you know how they say prisons are so crowded, they're too crowded. Well, maybe you could deport some of the legal people if they're criminals, at least, you know. Maybe not if they're really great citizens or something, but, um, well, maybe in that case, too, you should at least be helping them get citizenship so it's legal, I guess. But, um, but, um, because it could cause an imbalance, I guess. Although the abortions and everything make it so there's a void anyway, so I guess other cultures might as well <laughs> fill in the void. I don't know. So, I mean, there's a reason for probably foreigners taking over in some cases because it's kind of a punishment for the, the Bible says it's a punishment. Foreigners will take over your stuff if you don't be moral, you know, if you just abort your kids and, you know, God has to give it to somebody, right? So, it's just logical, but um, it's sad, but... 
So it just shows it's good to just appreciate your kids and not abort them and stuff. You know, that's what the Bible's saying, basically. It's not saying it's against anyone or anything, but it's just saying. Um, if can be deported to whenever their DNA says they are dominantly belonging to, and to get rid of gang illegal drug selling problem. Um, and criminals too, if can be told, they can have ticket elsewhere if they want to make up for being kidnapper for slavery if they are choosing because if struggling unhappy here anyway and I'm not talking normal immigrants that are happy and do well and are legal and here they can be left alone maybe I'm talking if criminals in a way are well anyway at least minimally the criminals could be deported if the prisons are too full you know I mean other ones could be too if that's for the best but I don't know because I personally wish I was allowed to go to Europe easier, but there's so many laws and rules. Like, they make it so hard to have freedom to go where you want. I mean, I can see where, where they have rules in a way, because otherwise it causes imbalance of the welfare system if people can't find a job or different things. But, you know, because, like, like, I can't find a job in America because there's so many immigrants coming here. You know, things like that. Even though my, my ancestry is an immigrant, too. So, I mean, <laughs> we're all kind of immigrants, but... Uh, some are illegal, so that's not as good. It, it might take away from the legal people, you know, like me or whatever, whoever else. Um, yeah, so I can see the point why there's rules, but in a way, I wish I was allowed to go somewhere else, since so many illegals are allowed so much here that people like me that are illegal don't even, can't even find a job, right? And so it's too bad, like, in a way that I'm not allowed to go to Europe since I am dominantly all these European cultures, background, and so I wish I could, um, at least they should have a law where you can, um, if you choose to, you could go to whatever co country, you could move to whatever country very easily if you have a dominant amount of DNA from that country. Like if it's proven you have a dominant amount of DNA from there, you could go there. Like you could have free citizenship there. That's how the rule should be. That would be a nice rule to have because then you probably fit in your culture the most, whatever culture dominantly. Um, or it's, that's just an idea, although Jesus did say you don't fit into your own culture sometimes, so I don't know if it'd even work. <laughs> so, you know, you just think of different ideas, who knows if it'd work, but, but it might be cool. Um, I, or, um, yeah, ideas. Asylum people should be sent more logically to a better, less warring, less crime or country, but one that's somewhat more similar to avoid culture shock. Like if white nationality is sent to white country at least, and if Africans sent to African country area, the lesser warring area or whatever, I don't think sending people to, if it's too different of a culture place, would be as helpful because there's different language barriers, there's different religion barriers, there's always problems, and that's going to be just as bad, probably. Um, would be helpful, may make their struggling problem worse if two different language also s should be placed with some same languages too if can help because there's probably less warring places within some country that they are from to help them go there and plus it costs less too and so it'd be straining on the system, the welfare system less. So, okay, so sometimes if all sent to America it seems very illogical or if they're all sent to the UK or wherever they're sent, you know, different foreigners because they're not going to fit in as well if it's a different language and everything, I've, or a different religion and all that. I've seen America on worst crime rate lists because um, there's so many unbelievers sent to the Christian lands, which ruins the Christian lands is what I'm saying also. Because I don't think unbelievers should be sent to the Christian lands because unless they're really interested in becoming Christian because it's sad, it can ruin the country. It, it bad, it's bad luck. False religion is bad luck. It brings plagues. It brings it brings so many things, and they start their false temples, you know, in the Christian lands, and it ruins the culture. Is all I'm saying. It shouldn't be like allowed, it, even for asylum. I don't think, or illegally, or anything. Sending people from one bad place to another struggling place, and plus, some places are on the highest crime rate list anyway, like America and the UK. I don't think sending the foreigners to those places are really that good of ideas. I'll, Although they're probably the highest crime rate because they 
send a bunch of unbelievers to the, these places to which they're trying to help them or something, but like it doesn't help if unless they're ready to convert and become Christian, if they're just going to spread their false religion all around the world, it's not going to help. So they might as well be sent to a different, less warring part of their own country if that would be helping them and everyone else more, you know? Well, that's just what I think. Or if sent to another w way different country, at least to one not on highest, worst list, like Uruguay got happiest place in the world. I don't think it's good to sin to dip two different culture people to two diff of place probably wouldn't be as happy with it harder to integrate. Anyway, plus it's cruel, you know? Like, you send these people from struggling countries to a, a land called, like, America that's on the highest crime rate list. How is that not cruel? <laughs> America's on the highest crime rate list. You wouldn't want to send anybody trying to escape problems to a place on the highest crime rate list, like Australia or the, the UK or any of those places that are on the highest crime rate list, and they're also on the highest divorce rate list. You wouldn't want to send asylum people to those places if, like, they're on the worst list, would you? Like, and if they're a whole different language and a whole different religion and everything, and they're just going to clash. I think that's cruel. I think it'd be kinder to <laughs> send asylum people to places where they might fit in better. Just, yeah, anyway. Anyway, I just have a lot of my own... I have just have a lot of thoughts about some of these things. Um, let me just make sure it's still filming. Yep. Okay, good. Anyway, I just got different ideas, you know, kind of ideas. Bars and drinking could have ideally been at hospital. That way, if you get health problems from it, you'll be like, I'm right at the hospital, and I'm so old that I don't care anyway. And it's like, it would make them more, less cranky. They're, they're um, you know, like how it kind of makes you, and it wouldn't be dangerous because they're not driving or anything. And, you know, if it's for hospital, if it's for something high, if it's over for over a certain age or healthy, many other might already be, so would be, uh, it's hard to read this, at on something as much type reasoning and then safer if can't drink and drive or do jobs and cause yeah, it won't affect, it won't make them too lazy to do their jobs effectively or anything. <laughs> um, and because all old and unemployed anyway. And they probably have health problems anyway, so if it causes them health problems, they probably won't even notice. They'll be like, I'm old anyway. <laughs> yeah, too bad they weren't just put in hospitals or something. So they won't ruin all these young people's lives. Because I, yeah... I mean, I know, like, you could do moderation, but moder moderation is really hard to do, and, like, I don't, I don't even know what moderation, you know, like, anyways, but, yeah. Okay, ideas, social center, different something rooms for different eras, different something cl um, clothes, styles, and rooms to study, teach, act out different eras, um, manners of high class acting to talking and observation booths to see if some styles affect people's interest in each other and or comfort to help each other meet talk more or less and talking eloquently classy or or diff different eras lo long and way of speech act out rooms because you know how some eras might have had better social lives, they were just more social and stuff? Maybe it was how they dressed, and maybe it was just the way they learned how to talk so interestingly. Or, I mean, that would be cool if you could make a social center where you could learn all these different mannerisms. You learn to be more interesting the way you talk, or the, you know, they used to have these high class um, coming out groups or whatever they were called in the olden days, etiquette groups or whatever, you know, they could have all that kind of stuff, like where you just learn how to be more interesting, and you could try dressing different styles and have different era areas of, you could live there, and you could just, it could be like a holiday place, or a theme park, it could be like, 
ideas, speech and slang of different eras books. Anyway, I just got different ideas. Um, okay, what else? Idea good to good to pray a thousand soul prayer for a person struggling you have in mind because they are probably on wavelength of a thousand of other souls needing prayer too to extra help them. Because you know like if you know somebody that's really struggling and you think oh I bet they're on the wavelength of a bunch of other people that are bad luck to them and that are struggling and that's what helped inspire them to be struggling and you think I want to help them too and if you already prayed for the one person you think well a brilliant idea would be, let's pray the thousand soul prayer over that person, whoever that person's on the wavelength of. Because you know how some people are, are struggling with all these things like prostitution, serial dating, all these th problems. And I bet it's because they're on the wavelength of like brothel ghosts or who knows all these sinners from the past and maybe ones that are alive and all of it. You know how we can all help each other to struggle less if we pray for each other. Then if you help this person struggle less, then that'll help that person struggle less. And so this is the idea of what I do, it's kind of complicated to explain, but there's this thousand soul prayer that Jesus said to pray, it goes like this. And you can memorize it, it's really easy. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with Masses, said throughout world today, for all holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, those in universal church, in my home, and in my family, amen. You could look it up too, a thousand souls prayer. Um, Jesus actually told um, this saint to pray it for people, but anybody can pray it. And what you can do is, if you already prayed for your struggling friends, the conversion prayer, which is for like alive people, which goes like this. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. That's really easy to memorize too. You could pray that for any, on behalf of a sinner, and, and Jesus will grant the grace of conversion, he said to the, them. So help save souls so you can see your friends later in heaven or your family or whoever you love you, whoever you like. Even people you don't like. You could love enemies that way. You could help people so they want to be lost. Anything you want. It's really the best prayer. Those two prayers are the best prayers ever. And so I'm just saying um, to elaborate on which I've already said this, but I'm elaborating on it in the way that you could pray this also for the same people you've already prayed it for, except for the people that are, are causing them the people that caused them bad luck. You know how the sinners were probably on the wavelength of other bad people that inspired them to be bad or inspired them to struggle or whatever? You could pray for a thousand souls that, are, that were haunting or haunting those people to, to, to lift the burden, to help them even further. It will help those people plus whoever was bad luck struggling on the wavelength of those people. So pray the thousand soul prayer for people any sinners or anybody you want to see later in the good realm or anybody, you could pray on behalf of a, th a thousand souls because it helps a thousand souls. Like, if they're haunted by ghosts, you know, like, you could be haunted by pur um, purgatory souls and they could be bad luck to you, I think. That's what I think. Um, if you don't pray for them, if you, I mean, it's only logical. If you don't pray them on a better wavelength, you're going to be haunted by sinners of the past, right? I mean, isn't that logical? Yes. Um, if you don't help them, they're just going to still be on their bad wavelengths of the sin that caused them to be stuck and not cross over um, to the good realm. And so they'll just be stuck and miserable, and they'll make other people miserable. And, and, you'll, and the way we're all interconnected, we get on the wavelength of each other. If we get on the wavelength of other struggling people, like purgatory souls, it could be bad luck. We can get on the wavelength of the same sins that they got on the wavelength of. If they got on the wavelength of prostitution or whatever that type of stuff, we can get on the wavelength of it and can jinx our whole life so we don't even get to have a family like we wanted. We don't even get to have a spouse like we wanted. Well, that's what I blame anyways. I mean, it causes us to sin. And when you sin, then you don't deserve blessings and everything. I mean, I'm just thinking, I wanted to pray for all these people that are bad luck to me so I could get off the wavelength of bad luck. You know, it hasn't helped yet, but maybe someday it will. And it's at least helping people not to be, you know, maybe lost or helps people to be on a better wavelength. Even if we're still jinxed by our sins of the past, well, I don't know. It's sad. I mean, I don't even know what can undo that, but 
But um, if you haven't sinned a lot yet, but you want to prevent yourself from sinning, pray for sinners you see. That could be good luck because it'll help you get on a better, help them to get on a better wavelength. Any sinners you think might be bad luck to you from afar or that you know or just that you see in the news or the ghost stories or wherever, you could just pray over everybody. The thousand soul prayer, the conversion prayer. The conversion prayer is kind of, I consider like for alive people. And then the, um, the thousand soul prayer, I kind of pray for like if I hear ghost stories, if there's a whole bunch of like ghosts or whatever, or a tragedy where a bunch of people died and you could pray for a thousand of them just in one go with that really quick prayer, right? So that's all I'm saying here. Prayer two, to extra help them because extra struggling types of them um, affected by each other from afar negatively, but if pray for who's affecting negatively those people or yourself to it might um help and sometimes things are helping but we just don't we don't know we don't see it right now because maybe this is just the world of sorrows and it's just a trial anyway maybe we're gonna have a better life in the future world paradise earth so maybe you can't even have a good life now entirely but at least you could help save souls and at least get people out of purgatory or at least get people so they won't be lost and you know that's important so or at least get them on a better wavelength, you know? So it might help to some degree, of course. Even if it doesn't help you have like a perfect life, but I don't know. Idea, better labyrinth video game. Um, and, oh, and Buster and Me video game. I thought of ideas, yeah. Anyways, ideas, reissuing eight track tapes because for listening and for recording popular music it's got the best sound it's probably way was way why music was more popular during its day than is now because i just got this old a track player and it plays such great music and i'm like wow music is way more enjoyable listening on an a track sometimes Although sometimes it does play a little warped, but so does the vinyl records. They skip, so I mean, nothing's perfect, and so do the cassettes sometimes unwind themselves, you know, and so nothing's perfect. I mean, CDs are good too, they skip too, though, but I mean, um, but yeah, I think, you know, like I, co I compared it to like the computer speakers versus the 8-track, and man, like, it seemed like the 8-track had such better sound than, like, the, t and the old TVs, too, they should keep whatever they did on the old TVs, it seems like they have better sound than these lousy computerized TVs that have this really low sound, it's not very good, but I mean, oh well, I mean, maybe I was just imagining it, but maybe I wasn't, um, so I'm just saying, like, Sometimes maybe we should go back to doing some of the old. I do like the flat screen aspect, but like if you could keep some of the same aspect of the old TVs, like the good sound, whatever you're doing right at that point, you know, like instead of progressing in a regressing way, like let's keep some of the stuff that worked in the past, like recording popular music with eight track or whatever worked, whatever sounded the best um, or things like that, because that's probably why um, music was more popular back then because it, people are always complaining the music doesn't sound as good in this era. I wonder if it's the recorders that they use because the 8-track recorders or something, maybe they use different recorders that sounded great. Like I had this, I have this like 70s cassette tape recorder and it seems like it records really well, like, um, like um, music studio well or something. Like I don't know if I was imagining or not, but it just seemed like it did and I was like, wow. Maybe it could even make me sound good. I don't know, but it didn't really, because <laughs> that would take a miracle. I'm sorry, I'm not a very good singer. Um, but I don't practice enough, probably, but I tried for years, but ah, forget it. <laughs> Idea. I mean, I might still try, but like, yeah. So only sometimes do I. Anyway, idea, larger wa larger washing machines so to not have to do it so often, and toilet drains so won't clog, and if toilet clogs with no, whatever, flushing halfway, oh yeah, this is a good trick, like flushing halfway, you know, like if you go number two, flushing halfway, um, and then it doesn't clog also, through, so won't be too much to flush, well, I mean, you know, 
just little life tips. I know they're kind of dumb, <laughs> but they're helpful, okay? <laughs> That's this channel, helpful, okay? I know it's kind of weird stuff to talk about, but I'm saying it anyway because it's helpful, okay? Okay, ideas for new laws. Having gun for self-defense or hunting only allowed if no major criminal initiating background unless it's defense kind. Because even the Bible says, yeah, if you kill somebody by accident in self-defense, you know, I guess this might not be as much of a sin or something. I'm not quite sure what that verse said. I'm just saying question mark. I think it said that. Okay, because I don't mean to misquote it, but. So, yeah, I think it's better to have mace and tasers for self-defense, though. Anything non-fatal is better. Because the Bible says if you live by violence of the, like the sword or whatever other weapon, you, you die by it. It's bad luck. You might die by it, you know? You want to turn another cheek in a way. Or you want to at least be the lesser violent, you know, the non-fatal, non-killing, so you're not sitting, you know? Because sin is always bad luck. I don't know. Okay. So, ideas. Looking for people to pray conversion prayer for and thousand soul for in ghost stories online and horror stories online you know like youtube has horror stories um online has ghost stories all over the place and you know ghost story tv shows whatever and um documentaries crime documentaries um prison photo mugshots you could look up all these google them um look them on youtube wherever um i'm just saying these are ideas of where you could look for to find people to pray for if you want to help society that would be really helpful to pray for people because there's the, the really great prayers that jesus said to pray the conversion prayer and the thousand soul prayer like i said earlier in the video you could pray for people you could look for people to pray for you could look in horse stories ghost stories crime documentaries that's what i do and just look up pictures of mugshots, anything. Just look for people to pray for, or if you just hear about people, you might want to pray for them too. You always hear people complaining about somebody, right? You could pray for those people. Those people are struggling. They're manifesting because they need prayer. And this is like our chance to vote for them. Like we care. We want to help them. We pray for them, their conversion, because they're struggling. Like it's, it's to test us to see if we're going to care. It's not just like, oh, let's just complain and nobody cares. Because God's allowing everybody to be manifesting in this way and to be brought to everybody's mind and haunting everybody's mind this way and to make everybody want to talk about it, these problems and these problem people because he wants people to manifest so that he will test us to see if we'll care about them, to pray for them. Okay, because they're just needing fuller conversion. They might only have part conversion or they might not have any conversion. That's why they're struggling so much because being an unbeliever is bad luck. You know, they have no guidance. They have no help. You know, you have help and protection of the higher um, Christianity if you are Christian or whatever. And um, um, let's see. And news shows too, you know, you could look for people to pray for. Okay. I mean, I'm just sharing some of my inspiration with you guys if you want to do the same stuff. Or, or, or if you get inspired in other ways, that's cool, whatever. Um, ideas. Every other house having park nature areas for respect for wild animals, giving them space, then won't invade homes, and then they won't go extinct, and then they'll have more nature areas. Um, if, if we respect their having enough space, they won't invade our houses maybe as much if we give them more nature areas, you know? And I'm not saying only give them a national park and that's it, because that gives them only one area, and then we don't even get to see them because they're all in, immersed in one little area, and we don't even give them any other... We should give them more parks and more spaces all throughout all of our civilization areas, because then we'll get to interact with them and see them. I know some people might not like them, but if there's nature areas enough, that they wouldn't be as invading in a way. Okay, because they have their own areas too, and you could go in the nature areas to be around them, and then they kind of stick to their own nature areas, and you could kind of visit them, but they won't visit you quite as much because they'll have their own areas. You know, we'll respect them. We won't take over all their areas to the point where they have to invade us. Because I think it's out of lack of respect that they invade us. You know, they come, the mice invade our home, the squirrels invade our home because they did ours. <laughs> and so... I just got me thinking, yeah, there needs to be more nature areas. We, 
we don't respect them enough. We don't give them enough. But anyways, that's probably the, the, the reason, the problem that causes the problem. And that's the solution, you know, and should still have private fenced yards too, but public community hangout nature areas more. So um, social areas for those singles or anyone wanting um, to be or for animals or both just to interact with animals because it's so soothing. I think society needs more nature and animals and soothing things, more cute things, more happy things. You know, it really enriches life to be around nature and animals and stuff. Not just where you have to go way out camping around the dangerous bears to, I mean like the cute innocent ones, like, anyways, but, um, I mean, yeah, sure, like the really violent ones could be deported to a different, um, national park or something, but maybe like the smaller ones could be allowed amongst the civilization more, you know, the smaller animals. Okay, idea. Better incense holder, um, better incense holders that are safer, that aren't made out of wood. I think some of them might be made out of wood, although maybe they're made out of plastic or metal, I'm not sure. But also wider too, they're just so narrow, they don't seem very safe. I mean, I use this big old, like, tin round thing but even that's not really big enough there should be like a little bit bigger one but um well yeah just incense there should just be you should just use like a large tin plate <laughs> for incense and they should have holders that are safer somehow um that are made of non-flammable material and that are just larger in case you don't use a metal plate underneath a large metal plate. You should use a really large metal plate. Um, but yeah, so soft. I mean, I use like this this really soft candle. I put them on the in in like that, and they it holds it. So I don't know. That kind of works for me. But like like, I mean, I used to use the other kind, but it seemed like it was burning the top of it, which doesn't seem safe. I think it was made of wood, and I'm like, whoa, that's not safe. Um, so that just made me think of that idea. Okay, they're just little ideas, some of them, some big ideas, some little. Okay, um, ideas, automatic guarding of your account and fitting it without contacting you to worry about it for internet companies and not having to pay extra a, amount put from sp to prevent um, protection from spam or hacking and messing up accounts. Yeah, it should just be automatically the internet's job to protect their customers' accounts or their customers' internet connection. I don't see why we have to pay for extra. Like, that's just... The spammers, it should be a tighter security against the spammers. Um, online and... Because what are you paying the internet for, you know? Like, you, there's all these pay sites on the internet and there's all these pay protect you from the spammers. I mean, things should be free on it if you're paying for it. Otherwise, the internet should be free. You know, like, like what are you paying for otherwise? <laughs> um, online and something blocking the... Isn't it should be included? Otherwise, what do you pay for when you pay for internet? And um, incompetence, not protecting your account or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I didn't say that very nice, I'm sorry, but... Well, I mean, it's true, like, like, what do you pay for otherwise? Like, you want to be paying for something, like, they should protect your account, don't you think? I, mean, I don't know. Um, ideas. For farms can plant bug-repelling herbs or plants at around harvest, so for safer than pesticide alternative. Um, also, wouldn't it be cool if there was like a, like a resume card or a, a card where you could just automatically apply for jobs or um, you could automatically, um, yeah, mostly a resume card. You could just scan it and it automatically applies for jobs for you. You could just go places, scan it, and apply instead of doing a paper a paper, fill out this form, fill out a million forms at all these different places, or try to attempt to do the impossible of making the online application work, which doesn't work a lot of times for some reason. They still haven't worked the kinks out of a lot of the websites for the online job applying for some reason. It like says, error, you're not formatted to, to 
apply for jobs or something. I don't know what it says. So, well, that's what it used to say for me. I don't know if it still does. Maybe they did fix it, but it seemed like a while back it was still kind of issuey. Okay, idea. Someone inventing better incense holders, not thin ones or wood fire, maybe catch fire to unsafe. Oh yeah, also, there should be made safer, um, safer, you know how some things they, you shouldn't plug into these little out, these little extension cord things, because it's a fire hazard, like you shouldn't plug in heaters to these extension cord things, because it's a fire hazard, well why not make them safer so you can plug them more anywhere, that would be good, if that would be possible, because People might not know about all this stuff, so it'd be nice if, like, things would just be made safer so it wouldn't matter. Okay, I already said that idea. Okay. So I'm writing that I put it already on a video, so I won't say it again. Okay, idea. Getting messages of Jesus books, God and Mary, and can underline or heart live by parts and put check if live by and check box or try two at all sometimes or often and others leave blanks so to re read and plan to live by them and then when try to can check them off too to help live like christian be happy forever okay this was an idea i had for a book right but i can't afford to publish a book it costs ten thousand dollars and it's a big hassle even doing the on-demand kind and it's already kind of published anyway you know the messages of jesus um, I was just going to separate them by praises, live by verses, and, um, you know, like one book I was going to call a praise book inspired by real messages of the spiritual beings, Jesus, Mary, and his mother, and God, because there's all these great books out there, and they say all these good things, um, like to pray for, and I was going to write a prayer book. You know, I was going to do all this stuff, and somebody else can still do it if they want to use my idea, but... Um, the, the books are already out there, so I was thinking if anybody wants to do my idea, you could just use the message book, and if you want to keep track of, you know, like one book I was going to call How to Live Like a Christian, you know, I was going to like put all the live by verses, like all the live by messages, like it says, live by this, do this, do that. I was just going to put them all in a book and put little check boxes, and you could put a little check if you feel like you're living by that one or not. You know, I just thought that'd be cool, a cool idea for a book, but you could just use the, real, the actual messages book, you could just get those, and then put little boxes by the live 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 it out parts or the the parts you could live by or live out and you could check it if you you know with a pencil if you feel like sometimes you live by it and if some of them you don't live by it you could keep looking them over and saying oh i should live by that one more or i should you know just the ones you you, you might want to live by it's just a cool idea i mean i thought that would be cool and maybe you could put a heart on the ones that are really praiseworthy Anyway, I could also put up those books sometimes that I already kind of compiled some selections from the messages books and I could come, I kind of um, put them in a format of I praise and, um, um, and I pray and different things because it just said pray this and then I, I said I pray this, you know, like that. But I never got around to putting it up yet, so. I didn't get around to publishing it either, but but um, you could just read the message books and just, I recommend just praying the, the, the things that it says to pray right away, right then, because otherwise it's hard to remember all this stuff. That's what I started doing. Like if I read the Jesus messages books and he says all these great things to pray for, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to remember all this good stuff. Like I only remember a few of the things. I mean, some of them are really memorable though, of course. But um, if you don't think you're going to remember all this stuff, just pray it right then and there, because they're really good prayers. So, And Mary always says really good prayers, too, the mother of Jesus. So, ideas. Um, um, Lysol brand, if can kill COVID and AIDS and etc., mold and everything else, um, or etc., diseases, maybe if they could make safe for use a medicine, if not already, and or mouthwash, body wash, like, you know like how some things they say can kill certain germs that they claim have no cures, and so technically 
if they make a cure out of some of these, although they are chemicals, so you'd have to make sure they're safe for a medicine or for a body wash or something. But if you can make them safe and they kill the germs that are otherwise supposedly incurable, then you have a cure, right? So that'd be cool. That's what I'm saying. Ideas. Kids' watches. Having secret trackers in in them for kids or adults too. Sa safety. Um, for if lost or kidnapped. You know, like if you could... Um, invent some sort of safety tracking device that's not de not easily detectable by the victimizer or the kidnapper or whatever and so you could track people track people in case they get lost in case kids get lost in case they get kidnapped or something because that's such a problem i don't know why i don't know why people find kids sexy enough to rape or whatever <laughs> they even find none sometimes it's like yeah we need mental help right Let's pray for everybody's sanity, right? <laughs> like, seriously, like I do, but it's... Oh, I'm sad. I mean, it's sad. Like, seriously. It, like, ruins our lives, all this sad stuff. Okay. It just takes away from life so much. We really need to do something about it. We need to pray about it a lot. We need to pray for all these criminals and pray for all these victims so they won't stay ghosts or anything. I mean, I'm serious. We need to pray the conversion prayer, the thousand soul prayer, because all these problems I've seen happening for years, it's like, I just want to try and lessen it by praying for people. Maybe I'll help everybody get on better wavelength. I don't know. Like, I wish it would. Idea. Um, Anti-drug guardians hired. Um, new kind of police bodyguard job where they accompany drug addicts to make sure they don't do any to help with addiction stopping. And then the same for people that are sex offenders. They should also have chastity guardians for other safety and their own. <laughs> I mean, I believe in freedom, but not like if it's going to be abusing each other, right? If it's going to ruin everybody's life and safety and make everybody live in fear and hinder everybody's lives and everything. And arrest seller, sellers. What does that mean? Ugh, I don't know. Oh, well. Most of it makes sense. Okay, idea. Two, swish between teeth several glasses of water with just a little Listerine or also, like, just a little, um, whatever mouthwash. Just a little, though, because it's kind of chemically, it's kind of acidic. Acidic is actually, like, alcoholic stuff is actually bad for the teeth, I heard. Even carbonation has acid in it and fruit juice, and it's just good to rinse your teeth after any of that stuff. It's also a good health tip. Um, and not to um, excessive use of any of it because have water with it, so only too it's it's very uh, like harsh on the system. Otherwise, if it's if it's acidic, you know, and so with just little um, some sort of mouthwash, hopefully kind of a natural kind would be good too. Um, for a few minutes to clean them, you know, like after flossing, you could just switch. This is what I do, like. Because I eat um, unhealthy food, so I, I really try to clean my teeth after to make sure it helps so it's not quite so bad of an effect. Um, so I try to swish, um, you know, the water with a little bit of Listerine or something or mouthwash. Um, and it helps, you know, keep the teeth clean before or after brushing teeth. And so just swishing between the teeth. Okay, these are just helpful ideas. These cool things I learned in life. I just share them. I mean, just little health tips or different things. Um, make script idea. Um, revenge of mask people. <laughs> like, you know, during the days of this stupid quarantine stuff, like, you could make a funny, well, I don't know if it's, like, well, it's not really... It could be like a stupid movie, it just Revenge of the Mask people, I don't know. <laughs> Not that I'm really wanting, I don't know if I would really want to make fun of it actually, though it's sad though. Okay, never mind, maybe that's a stupid idea. Okay, what else? Um, ideas. Could tarragon herb be good, safe, or stimulant? Disinfectant type drink, like alcohol, but maybe not as unhealthy, cause feels stinging, therapeutic, in mouth similarly. You know, because we might...